Hey, what's up, guys? It's Effect here bringing you guys another video. Hope you guys have a great day so far. And today, we're going to talk about Tekken and the PS4 console. And we just need to talk about this. We need to get this out in the open so Harada can see this stuff. Because obviously, we need to fix what's out of hand right now. So, I do have gameplay footage for you guys. Enjoy the gameplay footage. I did play Mike ATL in this game. He's a Suzaku. Dude is a great king player. I think he was filling me out in this game, and which is why I beat him. But he did beat me the next two times. But I didn't uh, show the next two times because I forgot to record it, like an idiot. But anyway, I did beat him in this game, but he did beat me two times on the stream. So you can go, you guys can go find that stream if you want to. But let's just get to the task at hand. This game is being abused, and it's broken on PS4. Now, I'm going to explain why it's broken. Number one, the matchmaking has been fixed for them, they say. But then they ruin the servers and it causes communication errors and a whole bunch of lag. You know, we get more people, but now we get laggy people and stuff like that. It doesn't work like that. You got to make it a balance, which they haven't done yet. And Harada needs to do something about that because people are abusing this communication error process. And some people are getting penalized for it, which they haven't even done anything. They haven't quit or done anything. For example, my friend Killer E, you know who you are, bro. What's up, man? But they know who they are. They play the game right. Don't quit doing anything. They don't rage quit. And somehow they get a communication error and get penalized for it. And they haven't done anything for it. Like, dude, this is really stupid and needs to be fixed. The communication error process is being abused by these players. And some of them are just straight up rage quitters who leave because they're about to lose a rank or something like that. Now, me as a player, yes, rank does mean something to the average player. I understand. And I do understand where you're coming from because I do care about rank sometimes. But rank isn't all that, dude. Like, you're not taking your rank with you to tournaments and all that stuff like that. You're taking your skills and what you know about the game to a tournament. Not just some BS, dude. It doesn't work like that. You can't bypass yourself with BS and tournaments and stuff like that. Because it's not going to work. I'm sorry. It's not going to work. These characters don't work. It's always the technical players who actually play right. And they always get somewhere. That's how it works for me. But anyway. We need to fix this communication errors. This matchmaking stuff. Because I'm getting matched up with a lot of people who just lag me, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm getting matched up with a lot of uh, rage quitters. And the rage quitting needs to stop. Because it's making us look like we're just not able to play the game. And there's not a lot of people on this game anymore because of this type of stuff. You know, some people just have straight up quit that I know. They just straight up quit because some people just quit. And then they don't actually play right. And then when you get them again, they want to cheese you and try to get another win. And the thing about this rage quitting... There's no punishment whatsoever. You just get a communication error for about 2.0 uh, disconnection rate, and that's it. Nothing else to it. You don't lose your rank. You don't lose points. And the thing about it is the person on the other side who doesn't rage quit gets the guy who rage quits, and then all of a sudden, they don't lose points or they don't gain points. As a player, we should gain points if somebody rage quits. We don't gain any points. We basically just get bullshit out of our rank, and we get screwed. And I want to show you an example of that, actually, for me. For me, I just played a guy who was a revered ruler, actually. I do have the footage of it. I will upload it. And he was playing Akuma. He played pretty okay with Akuma, but, you know, I destroyed him. But he rage quit at the end and ruined it for me because he was in the same rank as I was, I believe. I think he was a vanquisher and I was still usurper. But I was still there. I could have gotten there. But he rage quit and ruined the point for me. I didn't get a point out of that. I could have got a promotion match out of that. But I got screwed. And then after that, I started losing and I got demoted. And that's the only reason why one match would destroy what you're going for automatically. The rage quitting needs to stop. And if we, if we don't fix this, the game's going to die out. No one's going to play this game because everybody's going to just rage quit. It's going to be the rage quitters left on this game. And no one's going to get anywhere. Like, dude, we need to just stop this. Like, p people play cheese characters, expecting them to get somewhere, but cheese characters don't do anything for you at the end of the day. They just get you a rank with a word on it. That's all it is. I mean, that's how I see what rank is. It's just a word with a great design in the back. It looks good, yes, but at the end of the day, what's going to happen? Uh, eventually, we're not going to be able to play this game because people are just going to reach quit. We're going to lose our ranks, all stuff like that. People just stay where they're at because there's no point in going back because people are just going to race quit you. They're going to plug. They're not going to do anything. This game is being abused to the max. Like... We need to stop, dude. Like, I need to expose this stuff. I have a lot of Rage Quitters videos coming up, dude. I'm going to expose all these Rage Quitters and stuff like that because we need to get to the bottom of this. And Harada needs to do something. Stop blocking people who are criticizing the game and listen to them. Because these are the people that actually play the game with some technical skill and want to get somewhere with this game. Because it's their favorite game in the world, probably. It's my favorite game in the world, I know. Because I play this game every day. 
at least some type of gameplay every day I play this game. Stop blocking people and listen to them. They're gonna make the game better. Not these yes men and these people who kiss their asses and shit. We're not gonna do that anymore. We need to fix this game right away and fix it for the better, not for the worse. Because these pro players as well are getting to the bottom of it as well. I've heard some pro players actually expose Tekken a little bit here and there. And it's getting out of hand. I agree with them. They need to fix this game. And, dude, we need some type of punishment for these rage quitters. And do do, do something. Stop blocking people because they're criticizing your game. We're criticizing your game because we need to fix the game and make it better for ourselves too, so we can have a great experience on this game. I want to have a good experience, but the experience is being ruined by certain players who just don't know how to play the game and just believe that they're good because they're picking cheese characters and then try to get in your head, stuff like that. It doesn't work like that. We should be playing this game more fairly. It should be fair to each side, not one side. Like, obviously, each each character can be countered. They can be whiffed. They can be stuff like that. But how are we going to do that with the lag and the way and all that stuff like that and the delays? Like, I understand a game is going to have that stuff. But it should be fixed at the end of the day. We shouldn't have to go through 15 patches to fix the stuff. You know, <laughs> 15 patches to make it better, it has, it's gotten worse. It's always gotten worse. Even with the Noctis uh, update, there was a huge bug. A huge bug. And we tried to fix it, and it got ruined again. Like, I can't believe this game and where it's gone. Like, I love this game to death, yes. I'll play this game every day if I want to. I've been trying to bypass all this bullshit that I've been going through. But it's getting out of hand, and we need to fix it. And I want you guys to tweet out this to a rod and stuff like that because I got blocked for criticizing him, which is BS. I shouldn't be getting blocked because I'm criticizing a game and trying to make it better for myself and for the community that I have. Even the TMM community, the Main Man Sweet community, shout out to Main Man Sweet, very good player. I love this dude. Plays great Tekken. But even the community that he has is behind the stuff with the PS4 lagging bullshit, dude. And they play a lot of them play on PC. But I guess PC is where you have to go now to play the right Tekken that you want. But anyway, I'm done for the day, guys. I hope you guys uh, tune into the stream very... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to do a stream on Sunday. But I hope you guys tune into the stream. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.